Hey guys, so it's Sunday and Kendra and I just uh, put up this week's vlog, well this past week um, vlog and we're about to get ready to go to the movies because um, Saida asked us if we wanted to go see Beauty and the Beast and to be completely honest, Kendra and I were not going to go see this because like we really weren't Beauty and the Beast fans growing up. We were like, you know, Lion King, Pocahontas, Mulan fans, you know, and of course Cinderella. But um, I wasn't that excited when I heard they were making a remake of the Beauty and the Beast movie because like we said, Kendra and I have never seen the original. But of course, um, we couldn't say no to a pregnant person and plus I haven't seen my friend in a while so um, we're gonna go pick her up and then we're gonna go to the movies because I don't want her driving if she doesn't have to drive so we're gonna go get her and then go to the movies. Hi guys. Oh I'm so oily. We just got back from the grocery store and I want to show you guys a couple of things that we got that I've recently tried that's really good and also some things that I haven't tried yet that I want to see how they taste. So the first thing that we're about to eat is this Daya Dairy Free Margarita Pizza. And you guys know Margarita Pizza is my favorite pizza ever. By the way, it does not have alcohol in it. It's just called Margarita. It's just tomatoes pretty much on pizza. But this one is dairy and soy free. So I want to give it a try because you guys know that our favorite pizza is Amy's. So Amy's Pizza is our favorite. I've tried Amy's Dairy Free Pizza and it's disgusting. So we just stick with her original margarita pizza. So this is our all time fave to get cause it's still like pretty healthy. It's not like super bad for you or anything. So yeah. And then we also got the cheese one. So hopefully we like this one as well. But I'm probably still gonna stick with my Amy's for the most part. We also got some, well you guys know we always get these juices. And then like my green lemonade. It's like one of my favorites. But these Lakewood juices, I mentioned these um, on Snapchat. Well, not mentioned, but I like took a picture of like two of them that I tried. And this is one that I haven't tried yet. This one is the Replenish one. And it's Concord Grape, Pomegranate, Blueberry Apple, Blackberry, and Mint. So I'm excited to try this. But these are the two that I've already tried. So I've already tried the Restore one, which is this orange one. And it is really good. It has mango, orange, carrot, ginger, and turmeric. And turmeric is a really good health aid that people... You can take it through tablets, but it's like a, um, I think it's like an Indian spice maybe. I could be wrong, but um, look up the health benefits for turmeric. It's like really good for you, but you can't really taste it in this that much, but it does have like a little bit of an aftertaste after you drink it, but it's not bad, but it's still really good. And then this one is really, really good. It's delicious. This one is the reward one. I'm guessing because it's like sweeter and it's like a treat, I guess. Um, and it has coconut milk, banana, passion fruit, apple, and cinnamon. So this one is my favorite is delicious so yeah oh and by the way this smoked salmon from trader joe's is so good this is the brand i made some last week and it was delicious like you can taste the smoky like taste in it and it doesn't smell either when you clean it off so that's good because i have a thing about cleaning off meat so this wasn't that bad it's really good and we marinated it overnight with this uh, dressing that I mentioned last week. But you can use whatever you want, but this dressing was really good. But this time, I'm currently marinating some salmon right here. I'm using this teriyaki sauce this time, so I hope I like it. I've tried this to marinate other things like chicken and it was really good. So hopefully this is good with the salmon. Oh, and by the way, this dairy-free ranch is absolutely delicious. So you guys should give it a try. We got ours from Target. And I'm gonna try out the mustard as well to like put on a sandwich or something. So I hope I like it. We really like granola bars as well, but this is like our new recent favorites. Um, the kind bars are really good, but these are like newer ones. They're like flat, flat whole grains. But this is the salted caramel one. It's so, so good. I'm obsessed with it. It has like, like these marshmallow things in it. They're like really good. So the kind bars are really good. They're 100% whole grain, gluten-free, no GMO. So it's really good. And I can read all of the ingredients. So that's always good. And then the cinnamon oat one is one of our faves as well. This one is super good. And then the blue one is really good as well. This is vanilla blueberry. So all three of these I highly recommend. But when it comes to granola bars, Kendra and I aren't really into like chocolate chip this. Like I just hate it. I don't really like. I like my chocolate by itself. I don't like it in a granola bar. But these are new that I picked up. I haven't tried these yet. These are the Laura Bar, and I got the key lime flavor 
and the blueberry muffin flavor so i hope i like these because i just want to switch it up from our kind bars because those are like really good and then i also got some cliff bars because we used to buy these all the time but like individually but i just got this whole thing because oatmeal is like my favorite flavor of like anything cookie granola bar anything so we got oatmeal raisin walnut so these are really good so i just got a whole box of these okay guys so i'm about to try this Luna bar, but I'm just gonna try the key lime pie one. And it looks like this. So this is what it looks like. It's good. I don't like it better than my kind bars, but it's still good. I haven't eaten all day. We just got up and went straight to the grocery store. Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Target. So I just have a pizza in the oven really quickly. I'm trying, like I just showed you guys, the margarita pizza. Well, Kendra and I are trying. So we just split it. So I'm gonna eat that. And then later I'm gonna cook that salmon so we cook the salmon uh every day so we don't pre uh make our salmon just because i like my salmon freshly cooked every day so that's why i just um me and kendra will cook it like every day we eat it because like our chicken whenever we used to make uh grilled chicken we used to like pre-make that and just heat it up like with our meal prep but i don't really like meal prepping salmon because it doesn't taste the same to me it's like when you first make it so and we eat it with a side salad or something or a vegetable the only time i really eat a starch is like if i'm eating sweet potato fries and then if i make my actual sweet potato mash but i haven't made that in a while this is kind of a weird texture but it doesn't taste bad i will still eat the whole thing because the amy's we actually had to throw it away we couldn't even finish it but this is it's doable to eat for dairy-free pizza it's not bad i give it about a six and a half all right guys so this is what i'm having for breakfast i'm just having this cinnamon raisin whole grain bread with turkey bacon and this is the bread that we got um it's the ezekiel cinnamon raisin bread and we also have like the regular um whole grain bread from them as well hey guys it's kendra so today's saturday and kelsey and i are just getting ready to go run some errands like we always do um, my mom and kylie got here yesterday so they're here we watched moana last night um it was my mom and kylie's first time seeing it and they loved it it was like mine and kelsey's sixth or seventh time saying it because we got it on dvd now um if y'all haven't seen milana you're missing out it's so good so yeah we watched that last night and i just got done getting ready excuse my hair is in the middle of air drying if i like it wanted to dry i'll show you guys what i used for the most part it's looking defined so far so we'll see how i like it um but i just did some minimal makeup today no lashes because we don't have that kind of time oh and i think when we come back tonight my mom really wants to watch bad moms me kelsey and my cousin kia always talk about how funny it is and she's never seen it before so we're gonna let her watch that tonight um obviously kylie can't watch that one so we're just gonna have another movie night tonight we've just been spending quality time just watching movies since she got here yesterday and we've been dealing with some tech stuff since she got here so if you guys are wondering what's on my lips it is true brown k lip pencil um just on the outer part and then I have on uh, Lolita 2 liquid lipstick with just superb lip gloss from MAC. It was in the MAC haul that I did on our last vlog. I really love it so far. So it's kind of like a nice peachy nudie kind of look. So I really like it. And the highlight I'm wearing is Bronze Glow by Bobbi Brown. And I'm kind of hungry, but I don't know what we're going to eat. This better is about to die, so I'm 5%. Crap. Sorry if we don't vlog the day, but I just wanted to just let you guys know what we're doing today and that my mom and kylie got here yesterday so so just kind of informing you guys on the weekend oh and i need to get my nails done kelsey and i need our nails done i think this is the first vlog where we haven't gotten our nails done so that's how you know we need to get them done we'll probably get them done monday or tuesday so i wanted to go ahead and show you guys what i used on my hair and as a leave-in i used this ogx argan oil of morocco creamy hair butter and it says leave in or rinse out and i really love this it's really moisturizing and it doesn't leave like a residue on my hair or anything like that this is really nice and it smells so good and i did the lock method so this is the oil i use this is just the moroccan oil treatment i really love this oil and to style my hair i just use the argan oil of morocco conditioner just to help with some frizz and stuff like that so i use that even though it's a rinse out conditioner, I do like these kind of conditioners to leave in. And I've seen a lot of curly girls use this conditioner. And it's really nice. It has a really good hold, but it doesn't make your hair like crunchy. It still feels soft. So this is the trio that I used and I really like it. Hi guys, so today's Sunday and Kelsey and I are getting ready to go to the park with my mom and Kylie. 
I didn't show you my hair last night, so I just wanted to quickly show you guys what it looked like. This, it wasn't completely dry yesterday, but it is today. So it's really defined and I really like it. I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out when it was drying, but I do like it. It's not as frizzy as I thought it was gonna be because I didn't use any like gel or anything, but I'm coming to realize that conditioner can define your hair and tame the frizz. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Sorry if I sound tired because I just woke up, so. You guys probably can't tell what it looks like here either, but um, cause the window lighting is really bright, like almost too bright to the point you can't really tell what my hair looks like. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's not stiff or like crunchy feeling either. So it's nice and soft. Okay guys, so we're about to go to the park, but me and my mom are gonna try to do a little bit of running me more so probably jogging because I hate running. This is my workout outfit. This is what I'm wearing. I love these marble leggings. We showed you guys these in the haul. And I'm just wearing my hot pink free runs that I've had for years. I had these for so long. And this workout outfit is really cute too. Oh, love I'm the not Nike. Jogging though. <laughs> no. no jogging. Mm -mm. What about a light, like Where's power walk? walk? Like a power walk. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Right, guys so we just left the park and I actually did a little bit of running which felt really good um, I actually want to start like incorporating two days of running at the park in my workout routine every mm -hmm. week um, but we haven't really been going to the park lately because it's been raining so much in Georgia mm -hmm. so this past week we had a thunderstorm yeah mm -hmm. but it was gorgeous today so today was like the perfect day to go like run so we're gonna um, start at least running like two days a week and then we can just do like our regular workout uh, the other two days, uh -huh. which is our bike. You guys know we like to do the bike. So yeah, um, my mom and Kyler are inside. We're at Walmart because she had to get a few things. And then Kendra and I have to go to Walgreens to get a L'Oreal mask. That I could not find at Target. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they would have it, but um, they probably like didn't have any more. Uh -huh. And um, so hopefully we can find it in Walgreens because it's been gone everywhere. But yeah, um, I wasn't even short of breath when I was running. So I was really proud of myself. I wasn't either, but I think because we were jogging. I did a little bit of running with Kylie. It's kind of hard to keep up with her. <laughs> no, I only jogged. Yeah, I did some running. I said I was going to only jog, but I did a little bit of running and I didn't get that tired. But I did like, like I ran, then I walked a little bit. I didn't run the whole time not about that life at least not yet anyway just start the hardest part is starting when it comes to working out because like we hate working out but like i feel like the more you do it the less you'll hate it to be honest uh -huh. and then the more the more you'll get into a routine that's true yeah yeah i want one of those for morning because my morning cleanse are almost gone and i'm not buying another one because it's like works okay but i heard good things about this one yeah this is what i use in the morning normal to oil skin yep Okay. Do they have one with SPF in it? Cause I've been looking for like a good moisturizer with SPF. SPF. Facial moisturizing lotion. Yeah, SPF 30 though. For normal dry skin. Do you see L'Oreal? Olay. Avena. Look, L'Oreal's down here. You see it? Mm, is it over here? Detox and Brighten. It's the last two. Aww. Make Thanks. sure nobody opened it. <laughs> I don't think they have. Okay. I hope and I like it. Detox and brighten. 
Okay, clear fill in here. Um, I don't see clear cell. That looks like it'll last a long time because it's big. This back in the day. Remember, this is our rather day. This is a good moisturizer for summer too because it's and like oily skin. It's light. Mm -hmm. It's a gel cream. I just wish it had SPF in it. I do like that for drugstore. It is pretty good. I don't see clear cell. Oh, wow. Make sure I'm not overlooking you. I don't see it. Okay. Oh, I need some more micellar water, though. I've never tried it. You like it? You have it? Mm -mm. I love micellar water. But this is the one I used. But um, I'm, I've been wanting to try this one. This is for oily skin. I used this one, the All Skin Types one. But I've been wanting to use this one, so. What did it make your skin dry? It's not. Yeah. Still don't see it. Still at the bottom. Oh. Do you see it? It's supposed to say Ultra. Nope. They just say daily face wash. Mm, no, I don't see it. It was probably right there, maybe next to that. But it's gone. No, it says action spot treatment. Oh. So it wasn't in here. Great. Oh, and they're having a sale. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, well.